Now, what is a schismatic? Thomas Aquinas says that schism is a mortal sin. It's worse than heresy. Heresy is a sin against the faith. It comes from the Greek word meaning I choose. That's what heresy means. I choose. It's cafeteria Catholicism. I choose to believe in the Trinity, but I don't choose to believe in the church's teaching on abortion and contraception. Picking and choosing is heresy, and that's a crime against faith, the virtue of faith. But schism is a crime against charity. There's the three theological virtues, faith, hope, and charity. And charity is the highest. Charity is the highest. Because you can have the true faith, but if you don't have charity, St. Paul says, you can't be saved. You won't go to heaven. You have to have all three, faith, hope, and charity. Schism is a crime and a sin, mortal sin, against charity. It's saying, here's the true church. There's only one true church of Jesus Christ. And I am going to get out my scissors, my schizzers, and I'm going to cut myself off from that fellowship and the bond of our fellowship is love. It's charity. And we are, the ligaments that hold us all together is love and charity. It's safeguarded by the Holy Ghost. So when you take out your scissors, schism, schizzers, and you cut yourself off, you're saying, I don't love the fellowship of God's people. That's why it's such a grave sin, worse than heresy. So if you go around, and you say veganos a schismatic or anyone, you better be sure. Those who thus far have expressed dissent about what I have said have never entered into the merit of the argument, limiting themselves to saddling me with epithets that have already been merited by my far more illustrious and venerable brothers in the episcopate. We're also seeing this more and more. Those of us who respectfully say, well, yeah, but is that in Vatican II? Uh, is that in continuity with previous magisterium? The, these 25 popes said the death penalty is moral, and then Francis says it's inadmissible. Is that in continuity? And what do they do? They throw epithets at us. Ad hominem. They don't enter in to discussion. Theological discussion like the great scholastics did Bonaventure, Thomas Aquinas then Vigano says it is curious that both in the doctrinal as well in the political arena the progressives claim for themselves a primacy, a state of election that apodictically places the adverse adversary in a position of ontological inferiority Vigano goes on to say but their lack of arguments does not legitimize them to dictate the rules, nor to decide who has the right to speak. So you can delete our messages, but guess what? Vigano has a computer and he can write letters. They can get retweeted on Twitter. They can get posted on Facebook. You can say that I'm a schismatic or a sede, but I'm on YouTube. And I can come on and say, no, I'm not. And here's why. I am a loyal son of the Holy Church. What would be the correct interpretation of the council? Vigano asks. The one you give or the one given while they wrote the decrees and declarations by its very industrious architects? Or perhaps the German Episcopate. Maybe their interpretation. Vigano would say, this is me. Maybe we go to the Germans and say, well, tell us what Vatican II means. Vigano says, or that of the theologians who teach at the pontifical universities and that we see published in the most popular Catholic periodicals in the world. Or is it that of Joseph Ratzinger? Or is it that of Bishop Schneider? Or is it that of Bergoglio? Which would be enough to understand how much damage has been caused by the deliberate adoption of a language that was so murky that it legitimized opposing and contrary interpretations on the basis of of which the famous conciliar springtime then occurred. Vigano then says, this is great, you ready? Vigano, quote, This is why I do not hesitate to say that the assembly should be forgotten as such and in block. Now, I'm going to pause here and say, I don't necessarily fully agree with Vigano on this. I'm still working this out. I like what Bishop Schneider says. Maybe there's a way, a middle ground on this. I don't know. 
But I do like the way that he's systematically going through it. He's making the case of Vatican II as an event. It's a container, and that's why it should be forgotten as such and in block. Vigano then says, and I claim the right to say, say it without thereby making myself guilty of a delict of schism for having attacked the unity of the church. The unity of the church is inseparably in charity and in truth. And where error reigns or even only worms in its way, there cannot be charity. You may be certain that unlike many bishops, such as those of the German synodal path, who have already gone far beyond the brink of schism, promoting and brazenly attempting to impose aberrant ideologies and practices on the universal church, I have no desire to separate myself from mother church for the exaltation of which I daily renew the offering of my life. This is the double standard right now in Catholicism 2020. James Martin, Slim Jim, Jesuits, the superior of the Jesuits, German bishops. Yeah, they're a little misguided, kind of kind of heretical, but you know, that's the church. That's the church right now. Vigano, oh, he's a schismatic. He he doesn't love the Holy Father. He's bad. You see the double standard here. 